Our team started planning for eLab Summit six months ago. The opportunities and challenges that we face in electricity are ones that we have never faced before. And new solutions, new policies, market structures, these have very big consequences. And they fundamentally seem to require time and contemplation and expansive dialogue. So we're kicking off uh, 48 hours with some of the most creative thought leaders and actors in the electricity industry today. So my role is to provide a few observations about our work in the context of the broader energy system. Changes in markets, changes in regulation, changes in technology. And I want to suggest that the best way to understand that system isn't actually to get on the internet, it's to do the kind of work we do together here that gives us window and opportunity to really calibrate with other people where we can participate in it, where we can influence it, and that's how we'll have the most impact in reshaping the outcome in this very turbulent and unpredictable period. Rocky Mountain Institute is a think and do organization, and this is a think and do summit. I'm privileged to be among the people here who are actually reaching beyond the horizons of our daily fare to bring in collaborators, even counterparties, to be at the same table and address some of the most complex and vexing problems in our industry because we have to move forward at the pace of business. The wonderful thing about coming to eLabs is having a group of leaders from across the industry, utilities, policymakers, NGOs, and vendors or technology companies come together and work on a hard problem. Uh, it's the only place all year that I find that I can have 48 hours of fully dedicated time on working on a hard problem. So let's look at what's going on in the world around us. Our climate is changing in ways that will affect human civilization and human life in ways that we really cannot predict. We are well aware of the threats that the Earth is facing due to climate change, due to toxification of oceans, and it's becoming very clear that we need to change the way humans do energy on Earth. Okay, so, so why are we here, right? So we have, things are getting old and shutting down, uh, they're going to cost a lot to replace. So what do we think the opportunity is? Um, you know, eLab is one of those wonderful institutions where you can bring together people in a room that you wouldn't normally have in that room that have the both expertise and capability and interest in trying to solve really fundamental problems about the grid. What I really liked about it is that as, as we really see the future of distributed grid infrastructure advancing, it really is important for us to come together, understand the various perspectives in order to build a shared mental model, and then only through building that shared mental model that addresses those various perspectives will we be successful as an industry. Why everyone's here is sort of a tough question to answer. I think we all come for a bunch of different reasons. I came partly out of curiosity, partly out of respect for RMI and the work they do, probably mostly to spend some time working on this question of new utility business models. And all of those wants or needs have been satisfied, probably more than I had expected. It's been a wonderful experience. To actually come up with a solution to a hard problem like a business model of the future or how to stack the value of DER or the solution for low to moderate income uh, takes real thought and takes diversity of perspective. The importance of this work may be for different people around climate change. Uh, it may be around serving everybody in the community. Uh, there is a very important social problem that we're solving, uh, an environmental problem that we're solving, which is why we need to get together to actually come up with a way to move forward. Not to be dramatic about it, but actually solving this problem is essential to the future of our civilization. We can look back in history and find turning points for civilizations characterized by their success or failure at managing variability of natural resource systems. Do we have the capacity as a society and a culture to engineer a system with that long a view of future generations and the future of our society.